hey guys <laughs> uh, hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to Althea's world well, it's not just my world but it's your world for the most part it's God's world so stay blessed and don't be stressed if you're new here hello my name is Althea don't forget to like comment and subscribe before you leave and if you're not new here I appreciate the support keep keep up with the good vibes okay so today I am what's today today's Tuesday September 19th yeah so I'm eating oatmeal right now I'm eating some oatmeal some cane sugar brown sugar and today we are going outside to plant some seeds in direct sow so if you guys have been following me um you would know that I planted some starts is what it's called I planted some starts in the garden but some of them a few of them died which is completely fine. I transplanted some of them and um, I moved them into the actual big garden. I put them in some tires and in a couple of days they didn't do so well. So I ended up having to just replace. So that that is fine because fall is yet to come. The temperatures are going down. So right now it's, it'll be like a high of 67 or 65. I mean, a low of 67 or 65 and a high of like 81 so that that's not bad so it's getting chilly thank you thank you thank you it's not as hot not 100 degrees outside but i can at least go outside and directly so so what i'm gonna do so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna plant some some beets I'm gonna plant some lettuce and I'm gonna also put down some brassica seeds as well yeah because it takes about for them to get really started and, and ready it takes about a month so that is what I'm gonna do so <laughs> I hope you guys had a great day monday has passed it is tuesday i hope you guys have a goal for your week i do i had a lot of work well homework well not well work to do yesterday i um alex and i were out getting some stuff done errands done you know work and then i was home it's so funny yesterday Demir <laughs> I guess he wanted to do a certain type of activity art activity so he usually comes off the bus at like three o'clock so we I waited here I'm waiting and the school calls me they're like is this Mrs. such and such Mrs. Wilson and I'm like yes this is she and they're like, hi, um, is Demir in the, um, the art club? I'm like, that's my understanding. No, ma'am. She's like, well, he's here and he's in the art club. And he, we asked him if he was in the art club and he was like, um, he wanted to be in the art club. So I'm like, okay. So like, he kind of forced himself and says, you know, I want to be in the art club and I'm going to be in the art club. So I was like, oh my God. So I told the lady, I said, I'm so sorry. I said, I'll come and pick him up. <laughs> so I went and picked him up. And unfortunately, the, the art club is already closed. But I didn't see a flyer that came home in his book bag. So he's not able to join. So there's other things that he's going to be joining. But I told, I told Demir that I really want him to concentrate on this last year of fifth grade. I want him to to um, get a lot of his academics under control. Not that he's failing, he's not. But I just want him to be a little bit more prepared for middle school because it's a big deal. So as much as when he was little, if you guys truly know me or I'll just let you guys know, I put my son in everything. Swimming, soccer, like camp. Well, he, didn't, he did. He just started doing Cub Scout. 
but um he did everything we went on all the field trips pumpkin picking this patch that patch he was always out and now i guess he's getting back to that mind i want to go out i want to play basketball i want to do this and i'm like all right that's cool but i also need you to do these academics for me you know you need to know your basics so um he knows them but i want him to um the little that he knows, I want him to master so that when he goes out into the world, he knows his basics. That is one thing I always say. You gotta know how to read, write, and know your math. Those are the basics. Because history and science and all that other stuff, those are the basics. Reading, writing, and understanding and math, you have to know. So he was like, Ma, I understand. So I said, okay, Papa, once you can juggle you know, Cub Scout and school and coming home and having to read and um, being able to handle all those, then I'll say, all right, you know what, we'll do basketball or we'll do this or we'll do that. But um, my son used to be an A student and he kind of um, fell short last year of being an A student. And um, I just would like for him to buckle down a little bit more you know and because of the fact of um you know what, what what we went through as a nation i told him buddy i'm here for you but you also have to depend not just depend on me but depend on your resources because during the um demic, you know it was a lot of me it was a lot of the parents and even before that, the the the, the, the teacher used to say, I was Miss Miss Hines at the time, you know, um, why is it that he always comes to you? Like you're his only teacher. And I'll be and I'll be like, Well, I used to I used to school him when he was when he was a little boy. I used to be his only teacher. I was his first teacher. And it kind of made him it crippled him a little bit. Cause he was like, Well, my mom is gonna show me, my mom's gonna teach me. And it was a point where he'll not understand anything that's going on in the classroom because he wanted me to teach him because I was like right there with him. So I kind of had to pull back a little bit as the parent and say, buddy, you gotta, you gotta rely on your resources, which is your teachers, which is your books, which is the computer sometimes. And then come and say, or we can, you know, inter, inter learn. Like, I'll teach you this and let me see what, 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 what you've learned from the teacher. But I'm thankful that every school system that my son has gone, has entered, I've entered him into, it has been good. That's the number one thing I look for. I don't look for the fancy home. No. <laughs> and it's funny because that's exactly what I told Alice. I didn't look for the fancy home when I, when I, when I, when I, when I moved this, into this house. I saw a lot of homes and I was like, wow, this is nice. And when I looked at the school system, I was like, not me. I said, my kids at school. No disrespect to no other parent. But I said, if it doesn't have a standard school-wise, I can live with minimal. But you see, education is very important. Sometimes, like I said, you go to these high-end schools and they're teaching your kids like terrible. Even certain states that I kind of looked up and I was like, I'm, I can't live that. I can't live there. I can't because of what they're not teaching like certain types of history our history they don't teach they threw that out the window you know certain cultures they don't teach certain conversations they don't have and then certain conversations they do have and I'm like he don't need to know that like but I teach it I teach a lot to my child like some people were like how do you explain that to a 10 year old I was like, well, he's been new that since he was six. Certain stuff. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that <sighs> I don't mind extracurricular. My son was in extracurricular activities, but I really want him to learn his, his education. It's very important. And as a, as, a, as a teenager that I was myself in middle school, um, I had extracurricular, but my extracurricular was not sports. It was, it was jobs. <laughs> when I was 11 and 12, I actually worked, <laughs> okay? And I, um, a lot of my academics fell short. 
obviously I learned it while well, honestly when I went to college I had to go into basic math basic English all these basic classes to get back all of my education that I didn't that I lost when I was 12 so as a 19 year old I had to go back into the books of saying hey I don't even know what you know five, the, the the square root of certain stuff is and long algebra I I knew it but I was like it wasn't quick I wasn't efficient so that's why I told myself, I said, listen, Bubba, you want to do all these things. Like whenever you want to get a job, hey, you get a job. Just know you get your job, you also got to do schoolwork. So find one. So this is kind of like that. He wants to get a job. He, he He's mommy, mommy, I want to do this, I want to do that. Okay, well, well, is your school good? And I don't look at other people's kids. Trust me, I don't. Because sometimes you'll have a parent where... They don't even care if their kid is doing well in school, as long as they're doing a sport, because it's, oh, they're going to get a scholarship. They got to look at the academics. <laughs> it's not like back in the day when I was in high school. No cap at all. These, these guys get like point something GPAs. Okay. And I was like, yo, I, I can't play football. Well, duh, ding dong. You, you done failed <laughs> so yeah I don't I don't want that for my kid not that I was perfect I did not graduate with a perfect GPA trust me I didn't like I said I was working from the age of 12 I worked with my mom up till I hit high school I was still working had a job till I was a fifth um till I was um 15 and a half she's fi she finally signed my working papers and then I started working at Panera Bread at 15 and a half years old. That was my first job. I'll never forget it. Manny was my boss. She hired me and I think she fired me. <laughs> Cause I had a hot head. Okay. Couldn't have told I was a good worker, but I had a hot head. And when I realized BS, I'm calling you out. <laughs> so I think I worked there for a good two years though, so I did my time. But <laughs> but I just want my kid to be ready and I want him to be able to read well. I want him to be able to comprehend, let me know what's going on. And even if it's one thing, because he said, Ma, I just want to do basketball. I was like, you know what, fine. Because right now he loves Cub Scout. And I, I love Cub Scout for kids. I love it. It teaches you so many survival skills. It teaches you, um, it, it just teaches you life. If something was to happen, it teaches you, you know, how to, how to be a good friend, a good person, have a genuine soul, you know, have your values, your morals as a boy growing up to be a man. It teaches you so many things. It teaches you how to deal with conflict in life. And that's why I love, I, lo I don't think I'll ever take him out of those types of, 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 of um, activities. Things are gonna build your character, I'll always be here for it. Cause basketball, football, and sports, it's gonna build you up too. But it's, it, I think it builds a different part of you. It builds up that, that, um, that competitive part of you. You build up a certain amount of pride in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's, that's just it. That's just it, so. That was that was yesterday, and it was funny because I was like, "Papa, you can't just be jumping to people's program like that." Who you think you, who you think you are? He was like, "Mom, you know, I just wanted to, I wanted to see what it was like." I was like, "Okay," <laughs> but I'm going outside, guys. I'm gonna finish oh, eating my cold oatmeal because I'm just sitting here chatting with y'all. I'm gonna eat my cold oatmeal and see um what's going on outside. The landscaper he came yesterday, and I gave him um I gave him some seeds. Um, and I'm gonna give him some more stuff that I got here from, from some, some tomatoes and stuff. Guys, Karen is sharing. Sharing is caring. If you, if you got something that you can share with somebody to put in their garden for next season, go ahead and bless them. Go ahead. We all need something. I, t I keep telling y'all. <laughs> we all need to grow something. Okay, something, and I get it. Some place, some people, like you know, I got an apartment, I can't go nothing. I mean, 
try to find a windowsill. You know, even if it's if it's if it's not in a great area, grow some mint, grow some onions, some scallions, grow something. You know, or if you have somebody that does know somewhere that they can um, plant, say, hey, can you plant these seeds for me? And then you get stuff, you get fruit from your from from your seeds. So, ain't no excuse, okay? No excuse. Get off your lazy hind parts and plant the seed, okay? <laughs> I will see y'all soon. So I'm out here <clears throat> in the garden. I just picked up a pepper. <laughs> I picked up one of these peppers. Garden was looking sad, guys. That's my um, landscaper's um, wagon. But the garden's looking sad. It ain't much. <laughs> but it's fall. It ain't supposed to look pretty. So a lot of my plants died. I'm gonna put this pepper down. Papa, can you go put some clothes on for me, please? Please? You can stay outside, but I need you to go put some clothes on, honey. Please? Go put some pants on and a shirt for mommy, please, okay? Thank you. If y'all are wondering why I don't dress my child, it's because half the time when I try to dress him, he don't want me to dress him, so I just tell him, hey, go put on your clothes. And he, he does it. <laughs> Yeah, these it looks sad. I planted some stuff here. It looks really sad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a little bit of a trench. That's what I'm gonna do. Make a little bit of a trench. This is all grass clippings. All grass. So guys, I just want to say I never told you guys. <laughs> I feel like I've been holding back. This is my first ever fall gardening. So you and I are on this journey together and we are going to learn what mistakes I make, lessons that I learn, and by the grace of God, we're going to eat something out of this garden this fall season. You heard me. I'm manifesting it all right. I, I'm ready. I'm planting all these seeds and I'm saying, Lord Jesus, I pray that you bless me in abundance okay and that's not just with my plants that's with you guys anything that y'all want to do in your life i i pray for a blessing of abundance just make sure you put in your work make sure you pray you're patient persevere and we're gonna progress together okay i just want to let y'all know it's my first time they charge you so proud of me <laughs> watch the video guys
onions in. So I already have some onions. They're, they're not the greatest looking. <laughs> but we're going to plant them anyway. guys as I'm planting these onion seedlings actually after I did the video and I did further research on onions so I learned a lot about onions because before I used to start onions with the bulbs that you buy at the store and they say you have you can start it with the bulbs or by sets so basically what I'm doing right now is I would basically be creating my own onion set starts and I pull them out too early so what I'm gonna do is what you're gonna see in the video you know in future before after this is I'm going to plant more onions in a row and then once it grows up and high enough and more mature then I will pull them up as sets as sets and then I will take them apart and then I'm gonna plant those matured onion sets or you can say starts these right here guys are definitely going to be my trial and error because i did pull them too soon but you live and you learn with gardening and that is why i love it so much because i can still grow a good onion out of this i just have to be on top of them a little bit more so like i said don't beat yourself up if you do something that's not by the book it's okay you can still come out with a great product okay guys i'm learning this gardening thing <laughs> and onions they say it's hard so i'm gonna get it okay <laughs> I just made a little bit of like a trench type. Okay, so I am planting some early wonder beet. I just built a little bit of a trench. Gabriel wants to help as well. So one thing I do know about beets, um, just for the two seasons I can say that I've planted their seeds, is that one seed can germinate up to like two or three plants. So most of the time I'm pretty careful as to how many seeds that I plant because I know it's a possibility. Well, I know for certain I'm not gonna just get one seed one one beet plant i'm gonna get a few so that's why you have to be able to once they germinate and they're growing you have to pull them apart um so that you can get one good beet on the bottom you don't want them to share because then you're they're going to be competing for food nutrition only if you're going to be out there you know fertilizing on a daily basis you know you just don't want to do that so that is what I did. I planted some beets in this area and then I planted some beets in this area here that, that you see that I'm digging up. And just so that I can try the beets because I do like beets. They're very good for you. I do eat the tops of the beets as well. Um, and yeah, so 
the mirror i mean gabriel he likes to help out in a little bit in the garden and i of course let him help out but sometimes it could be a little bit overwhelming when i trying to get something done so i can go back in the house and continue my day but i think my soul for now is doing pretty good like i'm proud of myself um because i didn't do much you know i didn't i wasn't able to go out and buy all those top soils or all those gardening soils because they cost money i i'll i spe i specifically depended on the horse manure that i received from my local um stable and of course i bought some black cow and obviously see the grass so my soil looks pretty good i can tell it's it's rich in nutrients because of my spent my, my my squash plant it's very healthy so Hopefully everybody's out there directing their, um, sowing their seeds and, you know, doing their seedlings and preparing for their fall garden. It's never too late, you know, to, to plant. Um, I would just say to look at your zone, look at where you live and figure out what is the best things that you can plant within the time that you have. So I hope you guys are, are enjoying this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You know, we're all here to, to spread good vibes. And if you see that I'm doing something wrong, don't hesitate to let me know. I'm here to learn too. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take this pepper plant out because it's not. I might just take out all my peppers. I'm, well, I might leave this one because it's actually producing. But um, I'm gonna take this big one out because I already took the pepper off. And I'm gonna take these tomatoes out today. Yeah. did a good job. Fought a good fight. So I learned, guys, <laughs> that whenever you have like scraps or, you know, I have a comfy plant or any type of um, foliage, you can compost it and you can make a compost tea. So that is my goal for next season is to be able to take all of these like my tomato plant doesn't have a disease It doesn't have anything. It's just pretty much out of season. It's gonna go because it's getting cool I could put this in a bucket of water and um, Compost it and make a compost tea for the fall So that is my goal for next fall or even like summer. I'm gonna definitely try to get a big bucket and get a concentrate for compost tea you're learning all the time <laughs> so as soon as i start that guys i would definitely let you guys know and i will show you guys how i make it because it does take a while to like ferment or to process but i will surely this these tomato plants they're not gonna go in vain like come on now i need to save it <laughs> so yeah so i learned that and i really appreciate um the person that I watch so I do watch a couple channels I watch Charles Downing I love his no day no till um, way of gardening I watch a lot of other youtubers that start with minimal items to garden because I'm not gonna be the, the gardener that's gonna buy a whole lot of stuff just to grow food I'm gonna start from the bottom and I'll work my way up <laughs> <laughs> because that is exactly how nature started <laughs> so um that is who i watch and i watch a couple others if it comes to mind i'll let you guys know
help me for the fall too? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Oh, you got it? Are you gonna help me in the fall? You gonna help me with the all the um vegetables? Oh, you gonna help mommy? Now I gotta put these in the um burn pit. No way! No? You don't want me to put in the burn pit? Yeah. But I gotta separate this first. I'm pulling this piece right here. The ones that I was trying. Oh, wait. I got one on here. Oh, let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm going to spray it, though, with the BTI. I'm going to spray it because it's getting a little ridiculous. So I am going to spray it. Same thing with this one over here. It's pretty much like you can't even see. So I'm going to see if I can... If I can see. You know what? I might just pull it. Since this one is a little bit more mature, I'll pull this one out. I'm sorry. So life goes sometimes, you know, brother. So, so I'm getting ready for another season, okay? You must understand. You understand, right? All right, good. All right, guys. I'm tired, but what happened? I gotta move all this grass. Why? I'm tired of my landscaper mowing around it. <laughs> so I'm like, I'll see it. Let's get into this workout mode, okay? Back and forth, back and forth. Work them legs, work the belly, work the legs. <laughs> I literally, I was tired. My legs was like, okay, I'll see it. How long are you gonna have me going back and forth? But you know what, guys? I got it done. And I, I am not going to no gym, okay? I have, I tell you guys before. My gym is in my yard, okay? It's in my yard. I do my squats. I do all those things in my yard, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> I finished all of this, guys. And I was so proud of myself. Like, you don't understand. I was like, you know what? I'm, it's only me going to do it. Like I'm saying. And when it comes to depression, guys, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to do something to say no after that. Get up. I'm going to just do it. Sure. So... I'm tired. <laughs> I am tired. So I moved the whole entire all the grass clippings. I put some with my mint that's over there. I put some in the garden. Put some over there. And I also put some over there so it may not look like a lot that I did off camera <laughs> but I did a lot so I am not gonna plant in here today however I am gonna sow a little bit more seeds so let's get into that so I what I did was I put some of the mini oh, put some of the, I put some of the manure down here I had some seeds here so I'm gonna I'm gonna sow some onion seeds just for them to germinate and for them to start growing like how I did my leeks that are over here um, you can see it see my leeks right here so I'm not going to leave them there. I'm going to let them grow. And then once they grow up, mature a little bit by about this high. About this high. Then I'm going to move them. I'm going to break it up. And I'm going to move them. But right now, I just want them to build a foundation. And just grow. And that's the same thing I'm going to do with the onions. So I have my onions here. Uh, 
So I have one, two, three onions and all I'm gonna do, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm just gonna build a little bit of a trench. Take some of this stuff away. I'm just gonna build a little trench. A little something, something, you know. All the way back, way back here. Just something, okay. And you can read the direction packet what it says how to grow it. Um, these I'm not supposed to um, these aren't supposed to be sown till December Because I see where Georgia is so December into March, so it says Germination time is 10 to 12 days depth is half inch spacing is 18 18 inches Apart and the days of harvest is a hundred to 100 115 to 100 to 120 days so um, I don't know if this is a short day or a long day onion. That's the only thing. So we're just going to try. If I get any other onions, I will surely let you guys know. So in Georgia, you're supposed to grow a short day onion because I guess our season is shorter. And we have less of a cold front season, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... See my little tunnel here. <laughs> so I am just going to sprinkle a bunch of seeds heavily. See that pack is done. I'm gonna do another pack. Oh this is my first time. I did not even tell you guys. This is my first fall season of gardening. I've never done it before. So all of what I'm showing you guys is things that I have read, obviously YouTube, university, and just trying. <laughs> so I'm going to just pat it down. I don't want to cover it too much. I'm going to pat it down. into the soil put it down just so that it can yeah just pat it down so that the soil the seed can meet the soil for proper germination so that's what I'm going to do all the way back so I don't know how many onions this is going to make me, but I'm only going to put two packs because I think I have two packs left in. How many you got out here? Yeah. So I still have two packs. And this pack was $1.99. $1.99. So like I said, guys, you don't have to yourself money wise so that's the onions so over here I'm gonna plant some dino kale I actually really like dinosaur kale so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see I have a plant here I don't know if you guys can see it but I have the little plant there the bean plant I'm gonna give it a chance to get greed on that but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant my dino seed here. So I'm gonna put about three seeds, maybe four, I'll put three. Three seeds per hole. I don't know if y'all saw me put a little hole, about a finger, about right here deep. So it says for here, just that so you guys have an, an, an 
it says start indoors four to six weeks before last frost um it says direct so early spring or midsummer days of germination seven to ten days germination temperature 55 to 75 degrees fahrenheit 10 degrees to 32 degrees celsius if you're in other areas days of mature is 30 to 60 days plant 12 to 18 inches apart and plant 18 to 24 inches deep i mean tall no the plant will the plant will get up to 18 to 24 inches tall so it says 18 to 12 inches spacing so i'm not going to do that i'm going to plant it a little bit you know closer so i'm going to put three seeds and then i'm going to cover them up make sure the soil is pretty loose so that it can push through and it won't have a problem it won't struggle so i'm going to put one there and i'm going to put one about about my foot my foot so one here uh, another one here Sorry if my measurement ain't perfect. <laughs> it's just like what I'm cooking, it's the same thing. So I'm gonna put four in here, and then you can always thin them out. Okay, I'm gonna pat it down a little bit, pat it down a little bit. So I'm gonna remember these because I'm gonna go back on my videos and watch where I planted what, okay? <laughs> or oh, I'll just probably put a, a, um, a stick in here and I'll put what it is. So one there, one there, and then I'm going to plant um, I'm going to plant some Swiss chard. Swiss chard. So this is 55 days to germination, so I can plant these twice. Or I believe these just keep giving as you um as you harvest the outer leaves, it keeps giving. So days of germination is seven to 10 days. The depth is half inch, space is four inches apart. Days to harvest is 50 to 60 days. So my zone is 8A. So it says you should plant August, um, March, May, and August, and then February to June. So that's pretty much where Georgia is and it has red and yellow. So I'm going to plant about two places I'm gonna plant right here make sure you see the soil is loose I'm gonna put three like I said before so these Swiss chard they kind of got them they kind of look like bees so I might get two plants out of one so what I am going to do is I'm going to plant one here, cover them up, and I'm going to plant another one here. I'm going to plant both of them, see what happens. Here. Cover them up. Pat it a little bit, pat it a little bit. Give it some love. And that's that. And then I'm going to plant some green onions. I'm going to plant it here. Let's see. Plant it here. Why I'm planting it here, you might ask. I feel why are you planting it there? Because Stone. You don't want the stones. You want dirt. Oh boy, what's this? What's this? This is clay. Is this clay? Is this clay? Just pulled up. If it's clay, which I think it is, that's a little bit of clay. I got some dirt. I'm just gonna fill it in here. This is called amending the soil. <laughs> okay. Well, my definition of this. I'm doing something wrong, y'all. Let me know. <laughs> but, yeah. So, no sticks, nothing like that. We want, our, we want our 
um, onions to grow properly. You hear a guy in the background, guys? It's my landscaper. Hey, good morning. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna put my bunch of onions here. So I was saying the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want, oh look at my little worm. I don't want the animals to get to my main crop so they don't really like onions and garlic and all this other stuff so that is why I'm gonna plant my onions
gift giver came and he cut the grass. He did a great job as always. We're going to burn that pile when we're allowed to. Because in Georgia you have times when you can burn and when you can't. So I'm going to water in my seeds because you have to. And my hose is broken so I have to use my water can. Thank you that I have it. Yeah. So we're going to water these. These are our onions. Okay guys, so before my phone dies, I'm going to show you guys what I've done to try to save my seedlings. So, the cups that they were in originally, I cut the bottoms off because y'all see that they've been getting eaten. And I covered it so that the roly polies won't get to them. So I did it with all of them. All of them. Well, Gabe did this. I'm probably going to plant some there. But that's what I did with all of them. This one I wanted to I wanted to survive. This one I, oh I think I have a Oh it's trying to it's trying to come. I put one over that one too. And I put them over all of them. All of them. Some of them are a little closer than I anticipate, but it's okay. Still gonna grow. So that's what I did. And then obviously over here and over there and over there also. So hopefully, I got Swiss chard, broccoli rob, and this is red kill. So guys, I'm gonna go in the house, I'm gonna get cleaned up, cause I'm a mess. The mayor's supposed to be coming off of the bus in about five minutes. So I'm gonna see y'all in the kitchen. Okay guys, so it's lunchtime and I have some kale, I have some sardines, I have some locally grown um cucumbers that i bought i have my homegrown tomatoes the cherry tomatoes and then i chopped up another tomato and then i have some ranch with some extra virgin olive oil that i you know mixed in so that is lunch because i was starving after all of what i did in the garden hey guys so i'm back it is later on guys it's like seven o'clock so <clears throat> After the mirror got off the bus, obviously, you know, I showered and I had to do with help him with his homework. We did some drill work in math. And then he finished reading his book, um, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. He already read book one, so he's on book two. He just finished book two, and now he's watching the movie. So that's what you're hearing in the back a little bit. And I want him to enjoy the movie. So I'm going to probably play a lot of this B-roll. So I'm going to tell you guys what I prepared. So we're making Axie and Saltfish. So, I have the aki that my mom got from Jamaica because she went and she brought it back for me. It was, they picked it and then she brought it home. No, she, they picked it, then froze it, then I got it and I put it in my freezer. So, all I'm going to do is boil it. Also, I have my sawfish that I already um, soaked. You have to soak it. I didn't soak this overnight. Yeah, I soaked it this morning. And then I soaked it again. So you don't need like overnight. You don't have to, as long as it has like a good eight hours or about 10 hours. And then I boiled it on a low boil. So you don't want a rolling boil because I feel like that is how you make the, um, the sawfish tough and trashy. So just a simmer and then turn it off. After about, I want to say 20 minutes. Um, and that's what you get, that's what I got. So I got that. And then I got some, oh Lord, um, breadfruit. Let me show you guys. So this is the breadfruit, this is what it looks like. It was frozen and I'm soaking it in some 
water and milk and salt. So then I got some dough, dumpling, which is just water, salt, cornmeal, and flour. And then I also prepared for you guys. Um, I got some yellow and red peppers, garlic, onion, scallion, and thyme. And then I wanted to show you guys my tomato that came out of the garden. This is an heirloom tomato. I forgot the name of it. I think it's one of the pineapples, like I said before. And it has freckles on it. Isn't that pretty? So I'm probably going to slice this up and eat this with my dinner. I'm not going to put it in the food. So right now I'm going to boil the ackee. And then, um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm 
I have my dumpling going, my green banana going. I'm gonna put the cocoa in very soon. My acne sausage is done. Now we're gonna go to fry breadfruit. So I'm gonna take these out and dry them off. I just show you guys the way you know the cocoa is good is if you stick your fork in it and it you know it breaks in half where the cocoa there yeah see it broke in half so I know it's ready oh this piece right here let me show you guys see I put it in my fork in it and it comes see how it breaks easily it's in a corner so it grows yeah, that's how you know cocoa is done. It's a very soft blue Dutch root, um, wrong provision anyway, so <clears throat> pretty much cooks quick. And then it's my dumpling with cornmeal. Yeah. So dinner's done, and I made Gabriel's plate. Oh, sausage! He, he does eat sausage, he loves sausage. He asked sausage. me for it, sausage. And he got his um, breadfruit, and Mommy, he loves dumplings. I'm gonna give it to you, Baba. I'm gonna give it to you. I already made Stop the man's plate. He's eating it. He says it's good. Right, Papa? Yes. yes. Yeah, so we're gonna oh. eat dinner and I'll be back to y'all in a second so I can um, finish the video. So, guess who said they want some more? Who wants some more? Me. Who's me? Gabriel. <laughs> Gabriel said he wants some more. The man said he wants more breadfruit. So I'm gonna give them some more. <laughs> so this is dinner. This is dinner. Cocoa, green banana, the tomato from the garden, ackee and saltfish, breadfruit, dumpling. Okay guys, dinner is done. Kids are happy. I am happy. I'm getting some juice or some tea. And that is it for my day. So I had a very productive day today, guys. I got the garden done. I got some work done outside of the garden. The Mary and I was able to get some stuff done also. And I was able to cook dinner. So you reached this part of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget our four keys. Don't forget to pray. Be patient, persevere, and you'll surely progress. Don't forget to be kind. And don't forget, don't be perfect to show the progress. Until next time, guys, I'm tired, but have a good day. Love y'all. Bye.